Let's go to the beach. Hello and well, ooh, that was aggressive. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Shelly and I am so glad that you are here. So make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload. So today's video, you're going to pack with me because I am going to Myrtle Beach. I've never actually been to Myrtle Beach before and I'm very, very excited about this. So I leave in, oh, like a day and a half at this point. I don't even have my suitcase down. I've been procrastinating, but we got to pack. So let's pack. The seasonal boxes it was a sale they do so many sales so I can't remember if this was like a summer edit sale or an add-on sale or who knows what but I'm gonna show you some of the things I bought so it, it's not enough I feel to make a whole video and I already unboxed it <laughs> but I'm gonna show you so because like whatever sale this was things were like dirt cheap so we have a new lunch box. I usually buy one, a new lunch bag or box every year because I'm hard on things. So it has avocados. How adorable is this? Love it. And then this, I haven't even, haven't opened any of this stuff yet. This is a travel walking bag. This is supposed to be for when I take my dog for walks because of course you know a lot of women's clothes, especially workout clothes, don't have pockets. So I don't have anywhere to put my keys. I don't have anywhere to put my phone or miscellaneous things, my inhaler. So I can wear this and keep all my stuff because I usually am carrying a water bottle too. Well, there you go. That's a cute little bag and I, I can loosen it up too, which I probably will so I can keep all my things in there because keys are annoying. Ooh, a new pair of sunglasses for the beach. I don't know if I'll take these. I might take one of my like cheapo pairs. Although I think I paid like $9 for these, so. Salt of the sea. Oh, and these are tortoise shell. Let's try them on, shall we? They're very lightweight, I will tell you that. I do like, we have acne patches. This isn't very exciting, but they literally, I think were three or four dollars. They were cheaper than what I could get at Ulta, so. And this is what I was really excited about. So this is a highlighter by the brand Becca, and they're going out of business. And I had a Becca highlighter. I had the famous champagne pop one. I dropped it on the floor and it shattered and I was so sad. So I bought this and it's a liquid. I had a liquid highlighter once and it was, I think it was by the Beauty Crop. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, I'm gonna go in the bathroom and put some on and I'm gonna try this out. So I'll be back. Or maybe I'll take you with me. There's not like a good place to put you, so you're just gonna have to chill there for a sec. Ooh, I just. What color is this? This is in the color Ignite. I'm just gonna go a little bit now and I like to tap it in. That's pretty. On your cheekbone. It gives like a sun-kissed goddess vibe. I don't think I'm, this is overrunning. I don't think I'm gonna take this to the beach because it's glass bottle and I'm me. Okay, that's you can you can see that. That's really that's pretty. I just put it on my cheekbones. Let's go outside and look at it in the natural light, shall we? Oh, in the sun. Can you see me in the sun? Probably not. I can't see. No. It's gonna shade. And that's what it looks like in the shade. All right, so I went and got my suitcase out of the attic. I'm just debating. We're not flying, we're driving. And there's three of us going. We have an SUV, but I'm like, do I take the big suitcase or do I take like the carry-on? We're going for four days. I overpack, I know I overpack. 
it is my downfall. But I'm thinking you gotta have beach stuff, stuff for the beach. You have to have clothes like to go out to dinner at night, pajamas, and you usually like clothes to throw on like in the morning if you're gonna go get coffee or go to breakfast. Um, the resort we're staying at does have a gym, so I would like to go to the gym because I've been working on my fitness and I kind of want to keep that up during vacay. Uh, keeps my blood sugars down too, so if I exercise. So I'm on the fence. Maybe I'll start with the little guy and then I'll, if that gets too much, maybe then I'll pack the big guy. But first, we have to make a list. I tend to write all of my important things in this pink sparkly notebook, but I found my packing list from when I went to Vegas last year, so that's funny, but that gives me a really good like, I mean, I'm not gonna need to take the fancy ball gown to the beach or the coffee pot, because they actually have coffee pots in their rooms in most everywhere else except Las Vegas, so. If you go to Vegas, take a coffee pot, or pay five, six, seven dollars for Starbucks. Your choice. I pack a lot. It's my to toiletries, that's my problem. I haven't even got to my makeup yet, but like, I just have a lot of stuff. So I have my cute little beach bag, and I think I'm gonna pack the stuff for the beach in the beach bag. And I have my pineapple towel. This was like a fun, it came with FabFitFun a long time ago. And the retail price of this was, was back when we still got the magazine that had like the price. This was like $65. I'm like, for a beach towel, that is ridiculous. I buy mine at like Walmart for 12. But we'll take this expensive towel to the beach. Even though I am sure that the resort has beach towels. I'm, I'm guessing. Let's put our bathing suits, let's make sure I have all the parts. And actually, these are cute. These I bought on Amazon a couple years ago. So, I like a tankini. And then it's got the little boy shorts with it. Oh good, I have bottoms. I was like, do I have bottoms? So I like this one a lot. It's got ruffled layers, and of course we have our little boy shorts. And then a beach cover up, nothing fancy. And I am the pale queen. I'm actually, I'm really skincare, sunburn, sun care conscious. So this is my rash guard that I wear. I'm usually covered like pretty well head to toe. <laughs> so that's that rash guard. And I've had that one for so many years. I was like, I want something new and fun. So I just bought this one off Amazon. And it's blue. Well, that might be larger than I anticipated. And it's SPF 50. They did have them that were long sleeve, but I just, I just didn't think I would like that. So short sleeve. And anytime I am outside in the sun at the beach, I am covered up pretty well. So I packed my bathing suits, my beach towels. I've not got the flip flops or the hat yet. I've got the rash guard cover up. Uh, I haven't packed those. So we will work on those things now. Bought this giant beach hat the other day at Target for $10. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I don't know how I'm gonna pack it yet, but I might wear it for right now. This is my current sunblock collection. I love this. This is Tula. Uh, skincare. This is I wear this every day. This goes under my makeup every day. Then we have some. Oh, that's body. I thought that was face. Might have to pick up some face. So I don't know. This is only SPF 30. I don't know. If that's going to be powerful enough. This is what I wear every day when I go outside to exercise. I really like this. I haven't had any trouble with it. I don't know if it's going. It's almost empty. Aloe, of course. And then we have. Beach Defense, SPF 70, and then I have spray-on stuff because I hate having to ask people to put sunblock on my back like if I'm not wearing my rash guard. Usually I am, so it's not a deal, not a big deal. But we're gonna pack it in a Kroger sack because you want all of your things that could possibly explode in a sack so it doesn't ruin your luggage. 
Well, it is the next day. It is less than 24 hours until I leave. And have I packed? No. Um, it's been a morning. I got up and I started, I had to pay the bills. And then the power went out. So I haven't got my invoices done from last night. I'm just behind. Just the power outage threw me out. I even showered by candlelight and then the power came back on and I decided we weren't doing makeup today. So, but let's go pack. So let's pack some shirts. I bought the other day, I bought this one at Walmart. Um, it might be too big. I didn't try it on. They didn't have a smaller size, so it is what it is, but I like it. So we'll take this one and I'm going to take it off the hanger. Okay, would it be weird to take a whole lot of yellow shirts? Because I love this one. I also bought this one at Walmart. Like, if you're on a budget, don't sleep on Walmart, okay? They have really good stuff. I'm bougie. I get stuff from like Stitch Fix and I pay a lot of money for it and then I get Walmart. I'm a terrible overpacker, but I'm gonna try not to. I'm gone for four days. It's hot, I like tank tops. In the summer, this is what I mostly look like. I'm wearing workout shorts and a t-shirt. No makeup, my hair, and a strange bun ponytail. That's generally my summer look, unless I'm going out. What if I did the pineapple with my khaki, my olive khaki uh, paper back shorts. They do have a little tiny bleach stain on them, but I don't care. I wore them once and somehow managed to get bleach on them. Go me. So I'll take these. Well, I've got that packed. Now I need to get pajamas, workout clothes, that sort of thing. I always like to pack a sweatshirt or something long sleeve at the beach. Sometimes it gets chilly in the evenings. And then sometimes, especially if I've got a little sun, I freeze in hotel rooms. So this is a really thin, like sweatshirt, a really thin hoodie. Uh, it's by the brand Mix, and I know I got this Stitch Fix. Two tank tops, I don't know. I might have to switch to the bigger suitcase. I just, I might. There are so many birds in my yard. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. ADHD. All right. Pajamas. I have to do some laundry. <laughs> Power outage got me behind. Let's do some laundry. I'm waiting on like the loungy pajama shorts to be finished in the laundry. So we're going to pack my toiletries. And this is a hot mess express. There's, they're just sitting on the table. <laughs> It's a mess. So, I'm gonna take a first aid kit because you just never know, so I always get to travel with one. I think I'm gonna take it in my book bag. I think we're just gonna take my book bag too. I don't travel light. Sorry, Uncle Mike, I don't travel light. I try. And then, this is what I usually pack. So we're just gonna dump it out. And as I go through my checklist, we'll see. And then I got this, I think in a Fat Fit Fun, good white tooth comb to comb your hair out of the shower. So, love it. And I'm gonna pack these in this little thing. I think I got this in a Fab Fit Fun too, so. Obviously, I like Fab Fit Fun a lot. <laughs> while I'm getting it ready. Oh, somebody's here. Right there. Who's here? Is that FedEx? Please let that be FedEx. It is. It's FedEx. I see the van. I've been waiting on Fashion Fix shipment all day so I can get this stuff done and shipped before I leave. Ha ha ha. All right, but I'm gonna do that. Hair ties. Need hair ties and a scrunchie. I think I'm gonna just do my hair curly at the beach. I have naturally curly hair, wavy curly anyway, and I'm not fighting at the beach with straight hair. So, I have, these are my favorites. 
I have living proof, conditioner, and shampoo. I have more up there because these are about empty. I usually, at home, I don't wash my hair every day, but I feel like if I'm down there playing in salt water and chlorine, because we're staying somewhere that has a water park, that I probably should wash my hair every day. I realized that I have nine shampoos and conditioners in my shower. Nine. I should do like a bathroom tour one day, but I had, I have like shampoo and conditioner for days that I want straight. I have detoxing shampoos. I have uh, cheaper curly stuff for days when like I'm just running errands or whatever. And then I use the living proof on days when I want to go out and look nice or that I'm filming or something, except not today because I didn't do makeup today. All right, so we've got my shampoo, we've got conditioner, I need curly cream. I use, I use a lot of this. This is the Living Proof Curl Enhancer. But I think I'm gonna take this little one just for ease of travel. This is Bumble and Bumble BB Curl. It works, it's okay. It's not as good as the Curl Enhancer, but it, it works okay. And then I do have, I got a sample of the curl defining gel. So I'll take that too, just in case I run out of this. Got my face wash and then I need toner. I usually use Thayer's, but it's in a big bottle. And I get all these little stuff from like Ipsy all the time, or this was, I don't remember if this was Ipsy or if this was one of the advent calendars, but I take these little things and I'm taking a reusable puff, a reusable round, I just washed these. So this one's clean. I uh, use, well, I don't use this. This was a little sample I got. This is Clinique, take the day off. I use Glow Recipe, but it's in a huge thing. So this is a nice little travel size. And then I also take wet wipes with, or like makeup remover wipes, just in case. So I take those things too. You body wash? Yes. So I have two different kinds. I have Whey that I got sent. I think this was in an Ipsy and then I bought this Dove. Probably overkill to take both, but I'm overkill. Whatever, I, I bought this before I went to San Antonio. It's a vino, it's fine. <laughs> okay, and perfume. There is, in the bottom of my thing, a little sample I got. Actually, I'll just pull it up for you. I think this was in an advent calendar or like a gift thing. It's this little teeny tiny sample of Whey perfume. And I have to say, it is really good. I like that. So we got lotion, perfume. I packed my round. I don't think I need any cotton balls for any reason. Q-tips. Bought a travel size thing. Chafing gel. Actually, I use this a lot. So it's good, good for if your thighs chafe. So this is Body, the original anti-chafe balm. I bought it at Body Glide. I bought it on Amazon. It was on a list someone recommended and I thought it was pretty fabulous. I don't know, I got this, I think, in a FabFitFun a long time ago. It's Beach Mist. I don't know what it is. I Googled it and it said to spray it on after you've been out in the sun, so. We'll take it. I don't know if it does anything, but I'm drowning in products, so I might need to use them. Okay, so that's what I have in there. Oh, I need to pack jewelry. Let's do some jewelry. Okay, welcome to the craziness that is my jewelry room. Most of this is my personal collection, and that stuff over there is stuff that I sell. So there was a few years ago I went to convention in Vegas and paparazzi got us these lovely jewelry travel cases. So I use this, it keeps things from getting tangled. It's quite nice. So I know that I wanna wear, I think my travel day necklace will be purple. And then I have a lot of yellow stuff. 
So with yellow, I could go gold. I could go turquoise. I actually just got this long silver turquoise necklace. I think this was a fashion fix because it came with this bracelet. Isn't that cute? And then just like little silver earrings that have a little accent on them. Do I have the ring that matches this? Probably not. I'm gonna take my everyday little silver hoops. I adore these and I wear them constantly. And then I have this chunky cuff bracelet. Looks so nice. I'm gonna take it to, okay. Oh, I needed my yellow earrings. These will go great with the pineapple shirt. I just kind of want to take all my jewelry, but I can't because I have too much. I'll take this cute little silver ring. That might actually be the ring that goes with that set. You never know. This one would look really nice with the blue shirt that I packed. It's just got all different kinds of stones. I like stones a lot. This is a gold spell, one of my favorites. I think I'll take that. I keep finding things that I didn't put on the list. I have my pajama shorts. They are packed and ready to go. I'm working, still working on toiletries and makeup. So I am gonna take this. It's this pretty fresh foundation. It's like a just a tented moisturizer because I just don't want anything heavy. I mean, I'm not gonna wear makeup when we're swimming, but like out to dinner or whatnot. I don't take a big foundation. So I'm gonna take that. I have this little itty bitty Winky Lux concealer. I forgot a hair clip. I don't know how I forgot a hair clip, but I got a pack of hair clip. Um, I'm going to take, I got all these little makeup or mascara things. So this is the Tartist mascara. I'm gonna take that. And I had a million eyebrow pencils. This is It Cosmetics Brow Power. I like this one a lot. And then my favorite palette to travel with is this Pretty Basic palette by Tarte. And I like it. It's just, it's neutral colors and then it has a bronzer and a highlighter and a mirror. So, safe space on lots of things. Oh, some other things. I'm just about done. I have medicines and things to take tomorrow. I thought I was had an extra inhaler to take. I need to check and see when my prescription for my inhalers, my my daily inhaler. I have enough to get me through, but like not by much. <laughs> Remember when I went to San Antonio and I didn't take I brought an empty inhaler with me. So I'm trying not to do that. And then I need to pack my tech stuff. I'm waiting on things to charge. I'm going to import footage and a lot of things uh until tomorrow. So aside from that, unless I miss things, that is about that's about it. A few makeup things to work on, but some, uh, most things I can't get until tomorrow. So I'm going to finish a little bit here and then I've got to go drop my doggy off at his uncle's. So see you at the beach.